Welcome back to Test to Scale Workshop. My name is Brett Green. Tonight, we're going to finish our Hasegawa 30 second scale Messerschmitt BF109 G6. There are two main things that we're going to do. We're going to add an exhaust stain to the sides of the fuselage, and we're also going to chip the wing roots. On World War II aircraft, it was quite common for the paint between the wing and the fuselage to be damaged by ground crew members and the pilot walking up and down. And for that, we're going to use a silver pencil. The reference photo provided with the Eagle Cal's decals pretty clearly shows a pattern of damage on the black painted wing root area, just around the back here and also uh, on top of the exhaust stain, uh, just at the edge of the wing in front of the flap. So we're going to use the tip of the silver pencil to just build up a pattern uh, which is similar to that that we can see in the photograph. I'm actually not drawing, I'm, actu I'm actually applying small dots with the sharpened point of the pencil. Uh, I find that that gives me more control and, and actually uh, looks more authentic uh, than if I were to just either paint silver paint onto the area or to, uh, to actually draw with a pencil. So I've just built that up a little bit. I'm going to do the same in this area uh, around the corner of the wing just in front of the top right out of flat. And uh, around the edge we find there's a bit of damage as well. So in that area I'm going to just scrape this, the edge of the, uh, of the pencil along there. The reference photo also shows there's a sooty black exhaust stain down the fuselage side. I've lighted up my Aztec A470 airbrush with a very thin mix of black and a reddy brown colour to simulate this exhaust stain. Once again, I'm using a piece of paper to make sure that I'm spraying finely enough and thinly enough. The A470 with the tan fine tip can spray an incredibly fine line and very consistently. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what we can do on the model itself. Requires a fair bit of concentration to actually get into the area. I like to apply short vertical streaks first and then join the vertical streaks with a rearward streak afterwards. You can actually draw the tip of the airbrush further away from the surface of the plastic for a more general stain and then bring it nice and close for the darker stain closer to the exhaust. I'm going to continue with this until it's finished. With our exhaust stain applied and the wing roots uh, chipped, all that's required now is for the completed components of the undercarriage, the gun barrels and the drop tank to be installed and the model is finished. You'll be seeing this in the gallery very soon now. In February, we'll be taking a look at the airbrushing techniques of a well-known modeler. But that's next time on Test to Scale Workshop. Bye for now.